What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. Today I'm going to be uh, reviewing uh, another, be another beer I picked up from uh, the store. And the beer that I'm going to be reviewing tonight is going to be the Epic Brewing Co. And it's Chasing Ghosts. It says here it's a double dry hopped, double hazy India, pit, India Pale Ale. Double New England style. Oh yeah, baby. And if you're not familiar with uh, what hazy means, it's just unfiltered. And double just means it's more strong. Double is strong. Let me read to you what it says on the side here. I'll hold it up so you can kind of see how the can looks. Pretty sweet looking can. Interesting kind of like desert with the, you know, horses and the skulls and whatever else. Let's see what this thing says on the side here. Striving to make the best beer in the world can be a long and lonely trail to blaze. It is with the passion that we chase something that we can never be caught. Chasing ghosts, this double dry hopped, double hazy, double England style IPA is one of our favorites to drink along the way on the endless journey. Happy trails, amigos. Saying here, it's um, Epic Brewing Co. out of Denver, Colorado. And this one is uh, canned at 10% ABV. So let's pour this out now. Let's see how the color of it is. And uh, what is this can? Is this, uh, this is uh, 16 ounces. Let's pour this baby out and see how it looks. Got a very yellow kind of hue. Not much foam as you can see. The head is very slight. Could be just the way I'm pouring it. But um, it, it, it looks like orange juice, man. Is this orange juice? Orange juice in a can, it smells like orange juice. It's crazy. But um, God, it looks so good. Oof. And is, I wonder if there's anything else we should know on here. Double hazy, huh? Double hazy, double hopped. Doesn't say which hop profiles they used or hop uh, hops they used in it. Sometimes they, sometimes it says, but it doesn't say on here. We'll just have to try to figure it out here. Now I didn't read much about this um, this brewery. But um, the can kind of sold me, uh, double hazy kind of sold me. I like uh, hazies, I like doubles, so why not put them together? It's probably pretty good. Um, so yeah, here it is. Doesn't that look freaking delicious? And uh, let me go for the smell of it. Smells like a double. Smells strong, baby. I don't know if that proof of the 10% is going to be hidden by the flavor of this. I can definitely uh, smell the hops. It's a very hop forward uh, beer. But God, look at the color of that. Isn't that just a beautiful color? Can't get over how good that looks. Let's top it off. Ooh. You can't fill a beer any more to the top than that. That is at, it's at the rim, baby. I like it. Anyways, let's jump into the taste of it, and I'll tell you if it's worth picking up or not, and if 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 epic epic brewing is epic or not. I'm gonna have to lean in and sip this thing because if I pick it up, it's gonna spill. So here we go. Cheers to you guys. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Interesting flavor. Kind of hard to describe. Just very hop, hop forward, you know. Um, the present alcohol presence is a little covered up. It's not that. Uh, it's not that overpowering. Uh, the flavor of it, I get kind of that strong hop bitterness. Pretty typical for a double, but uh, yeah. Whoa. There it is right there. Epic brewing. 
Let's go back for another sip and see what we get. And, and as you can see in the video here, it is a hazy. We can't see through it. We cannot see through that, man. That thing is dark. But uh, let's go for another sip here. Cheers. Mmm. Very light. Light body. Very dry mouthfeel. Um... Not real citrusy. It's it, the hops. I'm not really familiar with. It doesn't really taste like anything I've ever had. But it looks like uh, orange juice. Goes down smooth. There it is. Does that look good? Cheers to you. I'm undecided if I like this IPA or not. I mean, it's not bad. But um, it's not like tasty. It's like one of those things you drink it and you're like, yeah. I mean, it's it's strong and it's hoppy, but but does it have that like delicious flavor? I'd just say it's average. But dang, dude, after those two sips, I'm already starting to feel something. So I mean, that's good if you want to get drunk really fast. Drink one of these things down, <laughs> like all quick, chug it down. But. Uh, Oh well, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm still unsure of it. By the time I finish the glass, then I'll be able to tell you whether or not, excuse me, whether it's good or not. But uh, let's keep trying it. Cheers. It's so good when it hits your lips. Ugh. Whew. That's strong. Hey, Boo Boo. Hey, we we got someone in our video. Yeah. Who is this little girl? Can you say hi to the people on the online? Say hi. No. 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 Okay. No. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean. All I can say is, is that it's okay. Uh, the price of it, probably, I mean, I bought this on sale at uh, Cost Plus World Market, and it was like $2, but I bet normal price is like $3, $4. Um, but uh, this double is not as good as the double I had the other day. That pork brewing um, no. Hot 15 was way tastier than this. So, um, yeah. I like the color of this one though. I, I like that pale color that kind of, they probably used oat, uh, oatmeal to make that color, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Just mediocre uh, IPA, nothing special. Nothing epic in my, uh, in my mind. You know, if you're gonna have a name like Epic Brewing, your beers better be epic. Just like when Stone says that it's a delicious IPA, that IPA better be freaking delicious or I'm gonna be pissed. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, cost plus world market. That's the spot. I don't know if you guys have that near you. It's, I thought, I think it's everywhere. But if not, you know, try to look them up. That's the place to go to get your IPAs. They have everything there. Anyhow, this, uh, this is my review. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you, uh, if you want to see more, uh, check out my YouTube channel. Also, if you, uh, could support me on, uh, Patreon. Uh, I've got other good content on there. Um, you know, jump over there, check me out. I've got tons of other beer reviews and, you know, whiskey reviews if you guys are interested. Anyhow, thank you for watching and uh, catch me on the next one. Peace out.